Today I want to tell you all about this great new app I found called Trello. Um, it's totally free and there's quite a few ways that you can use Trello to sort of organize your planning and assessment and your anecdotal notes. So I'm going to show you three things that you can do today. So the first thing you can do with this app is you can use it to keep track of the prep work and planning processes that you go through repeatedly, like planning a unit. Um, the second thing I'm going to show you is how you can use Trello to organize your student assessment data so that you can view it all very quickly. And then the third thing that I'm going to show you, and this is my absolute favorite, is how you can use Trello to take anecdotal notes and then group students for future small group instruction. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go to Trello.com, that's T-R-E-L-L-O.com, and sign up for your account. It's totally free, no catch. And then when you log in, they're going to have just one board for you called the welcome board. And you can um, go in and click and it'll show you how to do a few things. But so these are some of the boards that I've already created. So the first one we're going to take a look at is called unit plans. So the reason I created this board was because I was thinking about the fact that when I plan a unit, there's certain things that I do every single time I plan the unit. I always align it to my standards. I always check out books from the library, I plan assessments for the unit, I find internet resources, and I write lesson plans. So no matter what kind of unit I'm planning, typically I go through all these steps. And because I can be a sometimes forgetful person, what I did is I created a list for each one of these steps so I would never forget. So there's a list for aligning the unit to standards, checking out books from the library, etc. So then as you can see below that, I've created a card for each unit. These are just fake units, like if I'm teaching an ocean unit, rainforest unit, a states of matter unit. So everything starts at the beginning when you're first planning the unit, but then as you go along, like let's say I'm working on my states of matter unit, I've already aligned it to the standards, then I move this little card over here. Then I know I need to check out books in the library, and as I go, I just keep moving my card until we are all done, and then I could actually archive the card so that it goes away and I know I'm done planning that unit. So that's just one little thing that you can um, do to kind of streamline your to-do list. So something else that you can do with Trello is you can use it to um, view your assessment data at a glance. So one, assess one point of assessment data that I use frequently is F&P levels. The Fountas and Pinnell benchmark assessment system is something that we use in our school. So I created a board that just says F&P reading levels. And if I go in here, you'll see that I created lists for kids who are below A, at a level A, level B, level C, and level D. So then what I did is I went in and I created cards for each of my kids. So let's say that I just tested Lucy, and Lucy is reading at a level A. So what I can do is click here, add a card, type in Lucy's name, and then she's there. And so if I have a classroom full of kids, then I can easily see, you know, who's where, and then as the kids... Um, go up the reading levels, I can move them very easily, and it also makes it very easy for me to change my reading groups. So some something else that you might use is the MAP and WEA test. So on this board I have math MAP scores. So if I go in here you'll see that I made a list for each writ band. So for my kids below 171, 171 to 180, 181 to 190, etc, etc. So then every time the kids take the test, what you can do is you can just go and add a card. Let's put one for Sammy here. And then you can see how they're doing. And then if they go up, then you can move them along as the year progresses. And I know some teachers like to make their math groups based on this. So that's just um, one way that you can use this. So then last, we're going to talk about my absolute favorite way to use Trello. And that is to take anecdotal notes and to group kids for small group instruction. So um, I'm a reading specialist, but if I had a classroom and I was teaching all different subjects, then I would have a board for each subject. Right here, I created a board for writing. So if we go into that writing board, um, what I did is I made lists for each of the main skills that we're working on right now. So let's say in this unit, I want my kids to be able to use end, end punctuation. I want them to be able to use the word wall write a beginning, middle, and end, and draw a detailed picture. So these are, for example, you know, the four main skills that I want my kids to be working on. So then what I do is I have my iPad because Trello works on an iPad, it works on a phone, um, and it works on the computer. What I do is I grab my iPad as kids are writing, and I start walking around the classroom. 
And so let's say that I notice that Susie is not using the word wall. That is something that she needs to work on. She's not spelling those no excuses words correctly. So I just go in really quickly, type her name. I don't need to do anything else, and then I'm done. So then I keep walking, and now I notice that Johnny's pictures aren't very detailed. So I can put Johnny in and just keep on walking. So then by the end of writing time, I can quickly see groups of kids who need to work on particular skills. So then the next day when I plan small group writing instruction, I can say, hey, well, I noticed that all of these kids are not drawing very detailed pictures. So I can pull Juana, Daniel, Samantha, and Johnny. I can put them in a group and then I can teach them a mini lesson on drawing detailed pictures. Another way to use this is if you notice that like a bunch of your kids are not writing a beginning, middle, and end, then I know that that's something that I need to reteach as a group that we need to spend more time on. So this is one really quick, easy, um, simple way to keep track of your kids and their progress in all sorts of different subject areas. Okay, so that's about it. Um, Trello is really simple, but it's really useful. Like I said, the account is totally free, so I hope you will go to Trello.com and give it a try.